Hello, my friends, and welcome back to The Long Dark Experiment on our quest to survive for 500 days on Interloper with a bit of a twist. This is episode 42. Let's go ahead and resume our game. I need a drink. Okay, nice. Um, last we left off, we were here in the Mountaineer Hut in Timberwolf Mountain. Had a very nice restful sleep, regained quite a bit of help, which is really nice. Um, sounds like we do have a storm. I'm going to check the time of day here. Uh, looks like it's about noon. It's probably a good time to set out. Um, the only problem is I don't have a ton of food. I mean, we did, we did get all that bear meat, but it's not cooked. So I may uh, get a fire going, cook a little bit of bear meat. Or we could just head out. I don't know. We're, that uh, that last little piece I ate was pretty close to filling us up. Uh, I do need to pick up some water. We could take two of those. I'll put these up here. I think I'll take a minute. Oh, you know what, guys? I think I forgot to drop our bear skin when we went to sleep for 10 hours. I believe I dropped Oh, did I drop Did I drop it? Where is it? Oh, I think I left it in the cave, actually. I think I did leave it in the cave um, with the the other bear meat. Yeah, okay. Well, it's good to know. So as we have crossed the uh, the map here, we have killed quite a few bears. I think we're at seven bears now, and we've left a lot of bear hides curing. Um, I would have liked to have made a bear skin coat, but we just keep moving, you know, I, I keep uh, pressing on. And so I've never been in one place long enough where we've had the uh, the right amount of gear to, to make the bearskin coat. I'm just going to straighten up a little bit and then we'll head out. I think that's what I'll do. I hate leaving a mess. Yeah, we don't have all that much. Um, now one thing I do want to do is check our... I want to check our bandage situation because I, I used a couple bandages, I think. Where are we at? Three. So I probably should craft some more bandages. I do have two cloth. So at some point, I do want to uh, I do want to make another bandage or two. Two bandages, I guess. Do I need this food? Let me see what our food situation is like for traveling. We've got 22 cattails. Now we are heading to Ash Canyon, where there's going to be a bunch of cattails. I might, uh, I don't know, I might leave some of those. 22, because um, we're going to be coming back with lots of gear. Let's drop 10 of these. And then uh, we'll leave our bow here. This is our, our bad quality bow. Where can I put this? Maybe right there. Okay, do I have any leather? I do have one piece of leather. I would like to have a little bit more cloth, but I, I think we're okay. Um, how about our gloves? I know our gloves were getting kind of low there, 69%. I might take these and uh, we could possibly repair our gloves in the cave or something. It's going to take one cured gut and rabbit pelt. So I'll, I'm going to leave one of these. Okay, and with that, I think we're I think we're ready to set out. Uh, let me check our torch situation. I only have two torches. Are any of these good? 12%. We'll drop that one. Okay, nice. Um, I think I will leave our carrot here for... That's for uh, Barry. Uh, Larry, Larry the Berry. Got to make sure we don't forget our carrot. Okay, do I have any books to read? Okay, I do have one. Um... I'm going to leave the cedar firewood here.
Yeah, we should we should be picking up lots of uh, firewood as we go. And I think we're ready to go, guys. Honestly. Okay, temperature's a bit on the cold side. Hmm. Do I want to take, um, I'm trying to think if I want to risk taking some meat with us. So what we're going to do, guys, I'm going to head across the, the pond, and we'll climb up the rope, and then head up the mountain to, to a cave. I probably shouldn't bring the meat with us, because that is, that's going to attract, uh, that's going to attract the wolves. Hmm. Maybe I will get a fire started. We'll drink a tea to warm up, and I'll cook a piece of meat. Let's do it right. We'll, we'll play. We'll play safely here. It'd be nice to set off with a warm, uh, warm tea in our belly. Um, no hunger. We have a long journey ahead of us. We've already had breakfast, but as the hobbits say, there's always room for 11 Zs. Alright, let's get the meat cooking. I haven't seen too many wolves out on the lake. I wonder what they're up to. Okay, so that's going to take an hour. Um, we could possibly fix up our gloves in that time. How long is it going to take? 27 minutes? Let's go for it. Okay, nice. 99% feeling better about that. Okay, how's our tea situation? You know, I probably should craft some more uh, birch bark tea here pretty soon. Nineteen minutes, all right. I'm gonna move these uh, birch saplings out of the way. Okay, you know, I could harvest that for cloth. I think I'll take it with us. We'll harvest it. Um, harvest it on the road. 15 minutes left. Alright, let's light a torch. to eat. And we'll drink a tea. Take that with us. Alright guys. Maybe I will take this meat with us. So we've got a lit torch now. A little bit on the windy side, though. If the wind uh, blows out our torch, I'll, I'll drop our meat, I think. OK, 
Okay, it feels good to be setting out. Back on the road again. Just can't wait to get back on the road again. Okay, I gotta be careful coming over the hill. Yeah, that's what I was afraid of. I hear you, Wolfie. Let's head up the rope. I think we should be okay to leave the wolf behind. There's the rope. Let's go. Ooh, am I, is there going to be a wolf up here too? Or a bear even? Alright. Well, I'm so glad to see those maples. Get these curing. We'll take them with us. Hey there, rabbit. Now, somebody made a comment that was uh, was really good. I, I'm. Glad they said something about it. Um, when I when I slept last night in the uh, slept last night in the Mountaineers hut, and I felt like I was kind of taking a risk sleeping for ten hours straight. And uh, they made the comment I should have probably used my sleeping bag. My insulated sleeping bag would have been a lot warmer than the bed. Well, a little bit warmer anyway. And you know every little bit helps. That probably. Uh, Oh, sorry, Astrid. Uh, that would have been good. Sleep in the uh, sleep in the uh, improvised down sleeping bag. Okay, as we get up here, maybe I'll I'll see. Okay, we can use a, a rock. Okay, just wanted to make sure the sprain didn't prevent me from using a weapon. I kind of want to stop and get the deer hide, but I think I'm going to just keep going. I don't know. You know what? We're almost out of torches. So maybe I will. We'll get a fire going. Drop our meat. Let's pick up the feathers. We're cold. Um, let's get a new torch. Make a fire here by the deer. Is it too windy? Why? Why won't it? Oh, I'm just not looking down enough. Okay. It's a bit, but I'll make it. Fire. Yeah, I need to get some more torches because we we got the caves coming up. Perfect. What is the temperature here? Negative twenty. Oh man, that is so cold. Um. 
That's not good. I don't think I'll be able to get the hide unless I put coal on the fire. Let me do this. I'm going to cook up some tea. I think I might be out of birch bark, actually. Yeah, I think I'm out, guys. Um, we got uh, four cups of coffee. Okay. We'll do a little bit of water, maybe. Okay, I'm going to drink that. See if it will get us warm, maybe a little bit. How's our temperature? Okay. Now, let's see. We've got two kilograms of meat, actually. Um, yeah, I'll do, I'll do the meat. Sure, why not? 12 minutes. Okay, let's get the hide. Might get cold here. Yeah, a little bit of cold. Okay, I think I'm going to be sleeping tonight in the cave and we'll regain all that health I just lost. Um, let's add some fuel. Torches. Oh, I do need to drop some tea again, don't I? Okay, we've got some good torches. Let's drink a tea. Hopefully that will put us in the warm category. Yeah, a little bit a little bit of warmth there. Okay. You know what? I'm gonna grab these too. Drop the meat while I grab these. Okay, I don't have that far to go. Just past the engine there. We should be in the safety and protection and warmth of the cave. That wind is something else though. It's blowing right at us. It feels like I'm crawling with that wind. I'll try to hug the side here, see if we can get a little bit of wind protection. And temperature's going down fast, even with the tea. So we had two teas. Okay, we could have wolves up here. It's 
of it, but I'll make it. Don't see any wolves. All right, there's our marker tree. The tree's pointing right to our cave. Some of these. That a bit. All right, let's go inside. Okay, nice. Um, I'm gonna head a little inwards, and we can drop the uh, drop the deer hide and the maple saplings. Get these curing up. Yeah, I'm just gonna leave those here, and hopefully we uh, come across some coal. That would be nice. The sun is going down. I think I think I'm gonna sleep in here. We'll make our way all the way to the other end. Spend the night here, rest up. Ow. Got a little bit of coal. It's a bit. Anything back here? Yeah, got a piece of coal. We'll take it. I'll leave that. We'll take the fire book though. I don't think we're fully leveled up on our fire starting skills yet. Okay, um, is this a dead end? Okay, we'll go this way. I think when we sleep, it should heal all of our uh, ailments, sprains, and things. Give us lots of energy for rope climbing in the morning. I'm trying to think if we have any ropes we have to climb. Yeah, we do. Uh, let's see. Do I? No, because we're going to go to Ash Canyon. So, um,. I'm trying to think, is this? Yeah, I think if I if I take this route to Ash Canyon, this we're gonna have two handy. two big ropes to climb. Hey, more matches, nice. Okay. Let's see what's off this way. There's the exit. Okay. So we had a branch. Um, we have a branch we need to explore down this way. Right? Or is this the way we came from? I'm trying to think. I don't think we came from this way. Let's take a look. If there's a torch at the top here, then we know that's where we came from. That smarts a bit. Let's 
pretty steep. I don't see any coal though, so maybe we did come this way? Okay, there's a torch. Didn't seem quite so steep coming uh, downward though. Okay, I'll leave a stick at the bottom so I know which tunnel we came out of. Okay, I'll leave a couple sticks here. First aid soon. This is the way we came from. Okay, so we've got the body there. Ow. So this is the tunnel we haven't explored yet then, right? Yeah, so there's some coal here. It's a bit, but I'll make it. Well I think tonight I'm gonna harvest up those vests. Uh, we've got at least two vests. Is this oh it joins up, okay. It's just a just a shortcut then. Um, I think we'll make our camp here then. I'm gonna head out and then back in. Okay, Timberwolf Mountain. Um, wait, isn't this? Oh, yeah, okay, I know where we are now. Sorry, it took me a minute. <laughs> I was so turned around. Now I know where I am, okay. Alright, let's drop, um, let's drop our meat here. Is this too close? Should be alright. Nice, we got, uh, got a nice chunk of meat. It uh, set us on our way in the morning. Um, I don't think I need a fire... Let me just check our torch situation. We do have quite a bit of torches. Probably just let the fire um, go out. For firewood and some sticks um, and water. Let's see, we've got three liters almost. Yeah, I don't. I don't think we need the fire. I'm gonna let this go out. Oh, that's even my good torch. Okay. Um, let's see. I was gonna harvest up these. And then I can craft up some, uh, some more bandages. Okay. Um, yeah, let's do let's do the bandages. May as well craft up the mushrooms and rose hips. We still have a lot of energy, as you can see in the bottom, uh, right there, bottom left corner. Our eye meter. Typically, like to have that around the 10 o'clock mark, so we can sleep for 10 hours. We could just pass time, but this is actually helping to make us more lightweight. Okay, that's about it. So, uh, I think now we're just going to wait and pass some time till we're tired. Cancel that so we can get a drink. Alright. Um, yeah, I'll just keep going, I guess. Pass some more time. Oh, 
The only problem with this is I think I could get tired quicker just walking. I don't know. I'll just pa I'll pass time. That's fine. So we're about the nine o'clock mark, and then maybe right about maybe right here. That should be about the ten o'clock mark. Okay. So we need to uh, let's find yeah, our meat. A bit. Oh, rest soon. I'm gonna fight. Here's the meat right there. We we'll eat the bear meat. Okay, let's get a drink. You know, I'm gonna put our bed down first. I'll die if I don't drink soon. Okay, let's get a drink. All right, 10 hours of sleep coming right up. I'll see you guys in the morning. Hey, good morning everybody. We survived 78 days. Nice, and uh, we did heal up nicely I would like I to keep an eye out for some more gear. birch bark be real good to get some more birch bark tea um let me get our lantern hold on there we go get our lantern out and um I'm trying to think of the terrain so if I head out there and then up and around um I don't think I want to take the meat with me. That, that's really what I'm thinking about. So I'll, I'll just eat up until we're full, and then I'll probably just drop the meat on the outside of the cave here, I guess. Take that. We got our bedroll, right? Okay, let's head out. Okay. Looks like a nice day. Uh, it's probably pretty cold though. Maybe once we get out into the wind. Um, guys, I think I have made a mistake in coming this way. I mean, this this would eventually get us to Ash Canyon, but I think I actually was envisioning going the other direction uh, by the Bear Cave. So I kind of hate to do that oh you know what? i should have got maybe i could get a, a a torch lit with the sun i should do that first Let's see if we can uh, get a sheltered area maybe i can get a torch lit nice yeah we got a free fire um yeah i think uh this is going to take me the the wrong direction um so there's two entrances um entrances to ash canyon and I've taken the wrong one. This, uh, the entrance I was thinking of is actually the one we want to come out of when we come back from the gold mine. And the other en entrance would actually bring us through all of the cattails and possibly past a moose area and uh, past, um, ooh, Angler's Den. Yeah, Angler's Den, that'd be, that'd be a good spot. Um, let me take a bunch of torches. So I think I'm going to actually backtrack. We'll take... Uh, so this this actually didn't uh, end up being a total waste because I did get a bunch of coal and we got the uh, the deer hide. So I think I will take this back to our uh, mountaineer's hut. It's just down the mountain a little bit. And then I want to try going through the other entrance to Ash Canyon. I think it's going to be a better experience for everybody, for you guys. And uh, for me too, we don't have to climb both of those ropes back to back, possibly getting stuck on the ledge. Um, and I do want to hit Angler's Den. You know, it's kind of a fun looting spot and uh, kind of a, a stopping point too. If we had to, if we have to stop there, uh, we could we could stop at the uh, Angler's Den and rest up. Okay, can I take one more torch or is that it? Oh, we can. Okay, good. All right. So I apologize uh, about that. I 
kind of got turned around and wasn't thinking clearly. But, uh, you know, we will get a deer hide cured out of that. Back at, uh, we'll leave it back at, at the uh, mountaineer's hut. And uh, I want to see how much coal we have now. So we're up to 16. Also, there's a chance that sleeping um, may have respawned some of the coal. You know, going out and coming back in or sleeping. There's a chance some of the coal may have respawned. Yeah, I'm definitely still learning the maps. I think one thing that would be a lot of fun and would help me learn the maps is if I just spent like a ton of time in one area for a long time. But I don't know how um, entertaining that would be as a playthrough. Is that something you guys would enjoy watching if I just like said, okay, for the next, uh, I don't know, 50 days or something, I'm only staying here in uh, for example, Timberwolf Mountain, and then you just you know like map out the whole the whole place and explore everything. I don't see any more coal. It's kind of hoping someone show up. Um, another good thing about coming up here is we did get the maples. It seems like I am so short on maples in this playthrough. So getting some cured maples and uh, some cured deer hides and guts, um, that could allow us to eventually make the travois for uh, shuttling around you know, meat and different things like that. So we'll take these back with us. Back to the Mountaineer's Hut. You know, I thought about just pressing on, even though I... It's not really the direction I wanted to go, but I think this is the better choice. I really do like Ash Canyon. Um, going through the, the way that we're planning to go now, I think it's going to be a lot more enjoyable. I wouldn't mind spending a lot of time in Timberwolf Mountain. It's a pretty fun place. We do have that fishing hut. Uh, we got some guts curing, like if we wanted to make some uh, fishing lures and stuff. I'm trying to remember if it takes one or two bear hides to make a, a coat. I think it might just be one now might be two if you do the uh, the bedroll so even if we go to Ash Canyon I mean there's a good chance that the, uh, the bear skin will be all cured up by the time we do I, do I want to drop down here maybe I do it's not usually the way I go but um, now I am carrying the meat still I never did drop the meat Gotta remember that. Um, I might drop it here. I don't know. I guess as long as we have a lit torch, it's really not that big a deal. Such a beautiful day, though. I really, really like the uh, visibility. Okay, I think I can just drop down right here. And we even have a little resting spot so we don't get a sprain. It's nice. Okay, this could be a little tricky though. 
and get back up there. Oh, there's our spring. A uh, little bit of a drop here. Okay. Oh, we're just spraining everything today. Can I still use a rock at least? Okay. I do have some wolves up ahead. Mm, I'm need some first aid soon. Hey there, Wolfie. We're just talking about you. This way. It's a bit, but I'll make it. Okay, I think our other rope drop is up here. Um, now I think we can get a bear over here. I don't think it's the same bear we killed. I think it's a different bear. down right here. Doing great, Astrid. Sorry for the abuse. Here, okay, a little bit of a ledge drop here. Let's sneak over this way. And zigzag down this way. Now we do have those deer out on the ice, so there. Um, if we do get a wolf coming at us, we could just lead it over to the, the deer. Hey, I've got another maple. I'm actually surprised more wolves haven't come. It's a bit, but I'll make it. Could try scaring this deer off in the direction where the wolves typically come from. I don't see any wolves.
That sparks a bit. But the weather was perfect for traveling. It actually worked out nicely. Beautiful view here on the lake. And I would love to have a cabin like this in this rugged landscape. I, I would prefer a cabin like this, you know, kind of isolated rather than more uh, easily accessible. Kind of like this uh, seclusion. You got the lake all to yourself. That's one uh, regret I have about, uh, I do have some, some property up in the woods and I built a little cabin on there, uh, but there's no, there's no lake. You know, there's no pond or anything. We do have a year round river running through the property, uh, but it's kind of down a steep uh, gully. So it's, it's not particularly uh, usable in that way. All right, let's drop, uh, we've got the deer hide and the saplings. that up here maybe can I put it on the bed all right and I did uh, bring a ton of sticks okay so now how's our torch situation tons of torches all right good Which one is lit? Not that one. There we go. <laughs> Alright, we'll just let that burn out. Uh, I think I just want to head out, really. Um, we'll eat up our meat. Maybe this time I'll just leave the meat or we'll eat it up all, all completely. Yeah, we'll just leave this here. Um, close. Clicked on the wrong thing there. Put that out here. Okay, was there anything else I needed to drop? Now that we're here. Sort alphabetically. Wood is looking good. We did get a little bit more coal, but I... Um, maybe I'll drop a few of those. Drop five of them. Otherwise, I think we're looking pretty good. That guy who drank his own pee doesn't seem so. All right, good. let's go. And there's a fog rolling in. Um, do we need to keep? To you know, I don't think we need to keep torches going. Although, um, we do need torches for the cave coming up. Maybe I should bring more torches. How many? One, two, three, four. No, we should, we should be okay. Knowing me, I'll pick up some, some sticks along the way. And uh, once we're in the cave, we could make, make another fire. That sparks a bit. Even though there's a fog rolling in, temperature is actually still pretty good for traveling. As long as we know where we're, where we're going and kind of know how to get there, I think it still is uh, it's going to be just fine. We're going to be heading over by the bear den and then taking a right down the... Uh, the ravine area. It should lead us right into Ash Canyon. Looks like I'll need a drink here pretty soon.
There's a bear, Dan. Wonder if we can see the moose today. I'm gonna kind of swing wide here, see if we can see or hear the moose. Well, I don't see or hear the moose. Um, trying to think. I know if I go down this way, we can get to the ravine. I just don't know if I can get to it from over there. So I'm going to head down here. This is this is the way I usually uh, go. Now I'm hoping when uh, when we come back from Ash Canyon from the gold mine, I'd like to hit the the plane wreck and loot that area. And I'm hoping to find some tools. Mm, need some first aid soon. Probably need some tools to get our hacksaw uh, back up to good condition. I think it's at like 80% now. Um, I don't know if that's gonna be good enough to open all those containers. getting thirsty. I think when we get to the cave I'll stop and get a drink. It is quite a steep uh, drop off. Yeah, so I'm glad we came the way we did because I I didn't know if we could get down this way. Bit, Looks like it'd be too too steep of a drop. If I don't drink soon. Grab some rose hips. Get a new, get a new torch. Let's head in. You know, for some reason I thought that was actually a cave, but it's just like a little transition area, isn't it? That a bit. All right, guys, welcome to Ash Canyon. Nice to actually be here after uh, been talking about it for a long time. I'm looking forward to making our way here. It's a little bit of a lookout right here, but with the fog, we may not have that great of a view. Yeah, definitely smoky, uh, foggy. You know, I, th I think a fire blew through here, just burned all those trees up. We're gonna drop down here. There should be lots of uh, cattails. I'd like to replace at least the ten that we uh, we left behind. And we'll keep our eyes out for the moose. 
could have a moose in the area. Okay, I think that was about four, maybe, that I picked up. I think this is number eight. Okay, that'll probably do. Um, guess I'll keep the fire going for now. Do have to walk through some wolves up, probably coming up. up some sticks to uh, keep us warm when we get to the angler's den. Got some deer. Hey, a beautiful looking buck. So I think if I kind of stay to the right, we might come across that uh, burned out building. So maybe I'll head over here a little bit. Is that it right there? Oh, it's getting dark out here. Do a little bit of looting here and see if there's anything left behind. Yeah, we got a book. All right. Ow. So someone was asking how uh, how would we possibly know about Ember Ember the Bear if all of the people who witnessed Ember's massacre have been killed? And uh, I think the answer to that is that book we just picked up. I think Astrid reads people's diaries and uh, kind of learns about the history of the place. And, uh, you know, ironically, as she picks up the diaries, she says, I hope nobody needs this anymore. Sounds like something she would do. Pick up a diary and say, No, oh, I hope nobody needs this anymore. It's kind of a morbid way of looking at it, but. <laughs> Yeah, Ember the Bear. You know, um, I think Ember has been sighted quite a bit here in Ash Canyon. Although I don't think she does much, unless it's uh, nighttime. It's probably a little bit more scary at nighttime. I just heard a moose. Um. Hmm. Maybe I'll go make a fire back here. <laughs> I don't know if we want to hunt the moose or not. Um, it's not really why I'm here, but... You know, maybe we could make it work? Either way, let's. I'm going to get some tea going, because uh, we're pretty cold. Gosh, guys, I don't know. What do you think about the moose? <sighs> it's kind of tempting. I'd have to find a really good spot. Oh, man, that uh, that would take a lot of time, though, to kill a moose and butcher it. And we do have wolves in the area all over the place. Maybe I'll just bypass the, the moose.
All right, let's uh, let's get some tea cooked up here. What's the temperature like? Negative three. Okay, that should at least bring us into the warm territory. Just slightly warm, yeah. It's getting late. Yeah, I don't think I want to mess with the moose tonight. Let's just try to make our way to Ash Canyon, or to the uh, Angler's Den, I mean. Drop a couple more teas. Get those warmed up. It'd be nice if we got the moose like right by Angler's Den. That would be that would be a lot nicer. Drink our tea. Okay, well, I don't want to get stomped. I really don't know where the moose is. He's out here somewhere. That might be him right there. I can't can't really tell in the fog. Try to give him plenty of room. Where are you, Moose? If I were a moose, I don't think I would want to live here with uh, all these burned out trees. It seems kind of like a sad place. Although I guess the marsh, you know, maybe maybe it's actually really good for him. The marsh like this. Maybe there's not very many predators. I thought I heard him. Let's see if I can go around this rock here. So we want to make our way up around that waterfall. up this way I don't think this is the right way um, but I do need to relight my torch okay I think I have to drop down okay here we go Ooh, getting a little bit of lag there. Starting to feel... I think we should be able to make it back to to um, Trapper's Cabin before we get too cold. Hopefully that one tea will, will last. Just about there. But I think we do have wolves coming up here.
Here, wolf. Wolfie, wolfie, where are you? That scraps a bit. There's a wolf. How many of you are are there? Two? Let's see if we can kinda of go around him. Here he comes. Oops. Should probably watch where I'm going. Well guys, let me know in the comments if you think we should go back for that moose. Or just press on. I think we're going to be spending the night here in the angler's den. Yeah, I think that's where we're going to call it an episode. So, guys, thank you so much for coming along with me. Look, hey, we, we managed to make it to Angler's Den. So, I'm happy about that. Hope you enjoyed the episode. If you did, leave me a comment. Let me know what you think. Or you can just leave a thumbs up. It would be much appreciated. Uh, but most importantly, guys, I do hope to see you in the next episode. Take care.